So today we are doing something a little bit different. I've been watching a couple different booktube channels and I have been loving times that people are doing vlogs that they're just taking videos the whole time through the process of reading a book. And so I figured I would throw my hat in the ring and try that. And uh, I figured a great one to start with is gonna be Stormwatch, the new CJ Box book. Uh, this just came out. I got it from the library today. I was so excited because my wife is going down to the airport today to pick up a friend who's staying with us while she's looking for a house. And so I have most of the evening after I put kids to bed that I'm just gonna be home by myself. And so I am going to be tearing through this and then I got even more excited because I found that the library also has the audiobook available in the Libby app. Um, I don't know if you guys use that, but you should if you don't. It's wonderful. I use Libby all the flipping time. And uh, yeah, apparently this was available. So like 97 of 116 copies or something like that. Like I guess the people in Tennessee just haven't discovered CJ Box yet. But if you haven't read CJ Box and the Joe Pickett series, holy crap, you need to. This is like number 22 and they're all amazing. I have gone back and forth on collecting all of them and I'm pretty sure I'm going to now um, because I just want them. I want them all. I want to go back and reread them all again. So we are going to be starting out with the audio book. I'm going to, I got some house cleaning to do. Um, yeah. Side note to guys, learn how to do some basic house cleaning stuff. Your wife will love you for it. And yeah, so I'm going to throw headphones on and clean the bathroom and get started on this thing. Also, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit nervous because I've never listened to any of these books before. And I don't know who David Chandler is, the guy who narrates it. So, yeah. Fingers crossed that he's good. Because narrators can make or break an audiobook. Okay, for real, second line of the book. This is a day that would both start and end with blood on the snow. Oh, oh I'm so ready for this. Oh, yes. First two chapters done. Bathroom cleaned. Uh narrator seven seven and a half out of ten it's not not bad more than more than listen to a bowl <laughs> uh, uh dude i just i love i love joe pickett stories just mm, so so good by the by the end of the second chapter someone's already trying to kill him you just you can't make it up you just can't make it up all right kids are in bed we're a couple hours into the audiobook on chapter six so far, like 80 some pages in, liking it so far. I'm not entirely sure about how I'm gonna feel about the plot. It's gonna depend on how we, we play it out. The, uh, the, the idea of cryptocurrency has been mentioned, so we will see how that plays out. A lot of, uh, a lot of things that I've read where people have tried to bring that in, it just uh, it doesn't work out well it's you can just tell it's like oh that's a the hype topic right now and you just want to bring that in so we'll see i have faith in cj box so i am expecting that he will do it well and even if he doesn't do it well i think i'll still like it so uh yeah kids are in bed it's a beautiful night outside so we're sitting outside we got the woodford reserve and yeah time to read some more well we got about halfway last night Read some more this morning, got about 100 pages left, and now it is raining. Good day to finish a book. Done. Uh, it was good. It was real good. It was real good. Um, not my favorite of all of them, for sure. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I don't really have any complaints. Like, I feel like it was just a super, super solid Joe Pickett novel. Like, if you've read them and you like them, you will not be disappointed. I was glad that they didn't go in the the whole Bitcoin crypto mining thing. Didn't end up being that big of a plot point, which I was really glad about. And yeah, overall, it was just everything that I normally love about Joe Pickett books. It's real good. If you've read it, let me know what you think. If you haven't, pick up a Joe Pickett book. Not this one. Start with the first one. This is one of those series. Start from the beginning every time. Start from the beginning because... Mm. 
the growth of the characters. It's real good. All right, first one down. Let me know if you'd like me to review more books this way, kind of giving you my thoughts as I go through them throughout the whole journey. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.